Hello everybody, thank you for coming to this week's video blog here at California Real Tea Training. My name is Robert Rico, hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today's topic, I wanna to bring it to you and I wanna make it nice and clear because a lot of you have heard of this term but I have no idea what it means or you're not familiar to what it means, let's make it crystal clear for you, huh? This term is the term escrow. Escrow, escrow, escrow. Now I know you've heard it a million times. Those of you who are practicing real estate, you, you, you must know what it is. Those of you who are getting involved in it, let's make it nice and easy for you. Ready? Escrow. Here we go. Nice and easy. Let's call it, let's give it a definition. If you find the definition on Google or in a textbook, definition is this long. Let's cut it nice and short. Let's give you Rico's definition, which makes it nice and simple. You ready? Escrow. A neutral third party that protects the integrity of the transaction. Oh, I love it. A neutral third party that protects the integrity of the transaction. Ready? Let's put that into play. Got it? Here we go. You got a buyer, you got a seller, nice and easy. Your job as an agent is to put these two people together, right? Get them to fall in love. Get them to get into a contract. So you do. Two realtors, one here, one here. Get it together. Legal and binding contract. Now you got this legal and binding contract. It's called the RPA. Fully executed. There's terminology in here. There are conditions. There's every, all kinds of stuff that have to be met. All these, all these stipulations have to be met in this contract. So we gotta give it to somebody. We gotta give it to a company that's gonna babysit this thing. You created this transaction. You created this RPA. You created, as a realtor, you created this agreement. So now we're gonna have somebody babysit it. This here, in a sense, is DNA, man. I call it DNA because there's no other one like it in the whole world. It has an address, has a particular buyer name, a particular seller name, no other one like it in the world. You created this DNA, so let's carry it over to an escrow company. Now what an escrow company does, an escrow company will babysit this thing for you, right? They're gonna babysit it and say, oh, look at this baby. What should we do with this? Escrow's job is to feed it, to change its diapers, to make sure every single stipulation has been what? Three letters, has been what? Yeah, met. M-E-T has been met. So that's what the job is this. They're gonna look at this document, the RPA, and they're gonna make sure every single stipulation that was agreed upon between the buyer and the seller has been met. In fact, they won't close the deal unless every single stipulation has been met. It's actually important for escrow to make sure every single penny is accounted for, every single stipulation is met, everybody's happy, it's all done. Now let's assume that there is a stipulation that was not met. Ready, here we go. We're, we're going through escrow, right? Day one, day two, day three, day four. Don't forget, every day in escrow is like a step in a horse race. Bada bum, bada bum, bada bum. And what we're trying to do is get to that finish line. And time is of the essence in escrow. Don't forget, time is of the essence. So escrow's job is to keep everything in a timely fashion. Make sure we're on schedule, you with me? So let's assume we're getting very close to the end of escrow. Yay, everybody's happy. Escrow's reviewing the final paperwork, make sure all stipulations have been met. And they happen to notice that the seller, here's an example, stick with me. They happen to notice that the seller agreed to give the buyer a termite report, a termite inspection to pay for it and get it done. And they happen to notice that it was never ordered. Oh boy, we got a, we got a problem here. Or do we? It's not a big deal. Is it? I don't know, you tell me. Well, a termite report typically costs anywhere from 80 to $90. Hell, sometimes they give it to you for free. We'll talk about that another time. But a, a termite report isn't very expensive. So it's, it's something very minute. Should escrow worry about it? Should they just close the deal? Well, the answer to that is what? No, why? Because it's in the contract. It's a stipulation. And don't forget, all stipulations must be what? Met. So although we're very, very near the close of escrow and everybody's excited, if there's one thing missing, including a $75 termite report, you gotta stop, you gotta pump the brakes. Esther's gonna say no can do. Esther's gonna say we can't close this deal until we get that accomplished. You with me? This is me emphasizing to you that all stipulations, of how minute they are, must be met. Keep that in mind. Their job again is to do what? That's right, protect the integrity of the transaction and make sure everything has been done that was agreed upon. Now let's get specific. What does escrow actually do? What are they involved with? Well, aside from the stipulations having to be met, they're involved with the financial matters. They get in contact with the, with the buyer's lender to make sure the, the loan is going fine. They get a, a hold of the title representatives of this transaction to make sure we have all title information. Their job is pretty damn, pretty damn tough. But that's great for the realtors because we have somebody to depend on. We have somebody who's so focused right here with this escrow, with this transaction. They're so focused is to make sure everything is on the up and up. You got it? That's what they do. You as a realtor's job is to go out and make more babies, huh? And bring them to escrow and say, can you babysit this for me? Your job is to go out there and make more deals. Put more people together, put them in escrow and say, hey, escrow, here's another one for you. Can you handle this for me? 
and they'll take it from day one when it's born with that new DNA all the way till it's fully grown, which is typically the end of escrow, day 30 or day 45, whatever it was agreed upon. Are you with me? Simple as that. I'm not sure there's a whole bunch of other things escrow does. All you have to do is reach out to your escrow officer and I'm sure they'll give you all the uh, inside and outs of what they do. But as far as you're concerned, you can now explain to your buyer or your seller when they ask you, hey, what does escrow do? You can say, hey, nice and easy. It's a neutral third party that protects the integrity of the transaction. They're protecting an agreement that you yourself as a realtor have put together. Hope this helps, huh? If you have any questions regarding this escrow stuff, reach out to us. Otherwise, have a great day. We'll hope to see you next week. Hey, thanks for watching this last video. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Hey, do us a favor. If you think a family member or a friend would also enjoy it, why don't you share it with them? I guarantee it they're going to get something out of it. In addition, if you have any comments, questions, or a topic you want us to discuss, hey, leave it down in the comment section. And one last thing, if you haven't subscribed yet, what the hell are you waiting for? Do it right now. Hope to see you next week.